Industrial and Commercial Bank of China Limited AB. ICBC is a Chinese multinational banking company. It is the largest bank in China, and the largest bank in the world by total assets, deposits, loans, number of customers and number of employees. It is one of China's big four state-owned commercial banks the other three being the Bank of China, Agricultural Bank of China, and China Construction Bank. It was founded as a limited company on January 1, 1984. As of December 2017, it had assets worth $4.009 trillion. Generally considered the largest financial institution and public company in the world by assets, it is the first Chinese bank to achieve such a feat. It ranks number one in the Bankers Top 1000 World Banks ranking, and first on the Forbes Global 2000 list of the world's biggest public companies. History Possible 1910s connection In a postscript to the 2004 Chinese drama Li Chu by Yao Baozan, it is stated that the historical bank Feng Dei, the 1910s subject of the play, later became ICBC. Topic 1984 Industrial and Commercial Bank of China ICBC opened its very first office branch on 1 January 1984 in Beijing as a local state-run bank. 1999. In 1999, ICBC opened a branch in Luxembourg which became the European headquarters of the bank in 2011. ICBC Europe SA operates a network covering branches in major European cities, namely Paris, Amsterdam, Brussels, Milan, Madrid, Barcelona, Warsaw and Lisbon. 2005 The bank's Hong Kong operations are listed under the name ICBC Asia. It has purchased the Hong Kong subsidiary of Fortis Bank and rebranded it under its own name on 10 October 2005. 2006 In the run-up to its planned initial public offering, on 28 April 2006, three «strategic investors» injected $3.7 billion into ICBC, Goldman Sachs purchased a 5.75% stake for $2.6 billion, the largest sum Goldman Sachs has ever invested. Dresner Bank, a wholly owned subsidiary of Commerce Bank, invested $1 billion. American Express invested $200 million. Topic: World's largest IPO at the time. ICBC was simultaneously listed on both the Hong Kong Stock Exchange and Shanghai Stock Exchange on the 27th of October 2006. 
it was the world's largest IPO at that time valued at $21.9 billion, surpassing the previous record $18.4 billion IPO by Japan's NTT Docomo in 1998. In 2010, Agricultural Bank of China broke ICBC's IPO record when it raised $22.1 billion. China's largest commercial bank was also the first company to debut simultaneously on both the Hong Kong and Shanghai stock exchanges. ICBC raised at least $14 billion in Hong Kong H shares and another $5.1 billion in Shanghai A shares. Due to heavy subscriptions, the Greenshoe IE over allotment placements were exercised and ICBC's take rose to $21.9 billion, 17% of ICBC's market value before the IPO, divided in $16 billion in Hong Kong and $5.9 billion in Shanghai. Following the global offering, the free float of shares was 22.14% of the market capitalization. At the end of its first day of trading, the bank's shares closed up almost 15% at $3.52 in Hong Kong, compared with the listing price of $3.07, which was set at the top of the indicative range due to the strong demand. According to Bloomberg, ICBC's market capitalization at the end of trade based on its Hong Kong shares was $156.3 billion, making its equity the world's fifth highest among banks, just behind JP Morgan Chase. Meanwhile, ICBC's Shanghai listed A shares recorded more modest gains and ended up 5.1% from the offering price of RMB 3.12. Topic 2008. In August 2008, ICBC became the second Chinese bank since 1991 to gain federal approval to establish a branch in New York City. 2010 In 2010, ICBC loaned $400 million towards the completion of the Jibe 3 dam in Ethiopia. Groups that oppose the dam such as International Rivers and Survival International have complained about or have written to ICBC against the dam's funding. Topic. 2011 On January 24, 2011, ICBC opened a branch office in Madrid, Spain. On the 20th of May 2011, Industrial and Commercial Bank of China Limited established two branches in Pakistan, one in Karachi, the other in Islamabad. On 18 August 2011, ICBC passed the examination from State Bank of Pakistan and started its business in Pakistan. 2012 2012 in November, ICBC acquired for $600 million 80% stake of Standard Bank Argentina and, six months later, the change was made in the 103 branches that the South American Bank had in the country. It is the largest operation of a Chinese bank in Latin America. 
In Argentina, the bank has 1 million individual customers, 30,000 companies of all categories and over 1,600 corporate companies. Topic 2013 During the 2013 Korean crisis, the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China halted business with a North Korean bank accused by the United States of financing Pyongyang's missile and nuclear programs. It was announced at the end of July 2013 that South Africa's Standard Bank was in talks to sell its markets business in London to the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China. China for more than $500 million. Topic 2014. On September 24, 2014, ICBC Kuwait branch officially opened in Kuwait City, capital of Kuwait. As the first and currently the only Chinese bank in Kuwait, the establishment of ICBC Kuwait branch ended the history of no Chinese bank's presence in Kuwait. Meanwhile, it is also the fourth branch of ICBC in the Middle East, following branches in Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Doha. 2015 On May 25, 2015, the company further strengthened its presence in the Middle East and Europe by purchasing Turkey's Textile Bank and forming its ICBC Turkey subsidiary. 2016. On February 17, 2016, the Spanish Guardia Civil raided the offices of ICBC in Madrid, Spain, investigating suspicions of money laundering. On November 18, 2016, the bank obtained a license to take deposits in Russia. ICBC Financial Services, the bank's brokerage unit, provided about $88 billion of repo financing at the end of 2015, up from $59 billion two years ago, according to regulatory filings. The figures are before netting agreements that can be used to reduce overall assets and liabilities. Almost all the repo financing that ICBC provides is on U.S. government bonds. 2017 ICBC launched Robo Advisor Service to its wealth management operations. In October 2017, the bank reported a 3.3% rise in its net profit for the third quarter. 2018. Topic: Basic figures. As of 2006, ICBC has 2.5 million corporate customers and 150 million individual customers. In 2005, net profit was up 12.4% to RMB 33.7 billion, and the total loan balance was RMB 3,289.5 billion. Total liabilities are RMB 6196.2 billion up 11.2%. Delinquent or non-performing loans NPL total RMB 154.4 billion a significant reduction although the figures are widely regarded as being somewhat higher than officially stated. 
it has an NPL ratio of 4.69% and a capital adequacy ratio of 9.89%. As of December 2, 2014, ICBC is ranked the largest bank in the world by assets and by Tier 1 capital. In July 2007 it was ranked 30th in the world in terms of revenue. Topic loans by industry in millions of Chinese RMB yuan in 2005 manufacturing 662376 20.1% 28.7% in 2004 transportation storage postage and telecommunications 367371 11 10.2% in 2004 power, gas and water, 281,179, 8.6% 7.0% in 2004 retail and wholesale, catering, 265,906, 8.1% 6.9% in 2004 property development, 194,024 5.9% 5 5.6% .9 5 in 2004 social service organization 103070 3.1% 3.2% in 2004 construction 89666 2.7% 2 2.1% in 2004 other industries, 313,804, 9.5%, 12.1% in 2004 discounted bills, 392,717, 11.9%, 8.4% in 2004 personal loans, 515,042, 15.7%. 13.1% in 2004 overseas business 104398 3.2% 2 7% in 2004 total 3289553 topic loan collateral Secured by mortgages, 34.1% Secured by other collateral, 22.1% Guaranteed loans, 23.3% Unsecured loans, 25% At the end of 2004, 19.1% of ICBC's portfolio consisted of non-performing loans. In order to clean up ICBC's balance sheet and prepare it for overseas listing, the Chinese government orchestrated a series of capital injections, asset transfers, and government-subsidized bad loan disposals that eventually cost more than $162 billion. This included an approval for a cash injection of $15 billion financed from China's massive foreign exchange reserves on 28 April 2005. The Beijing-based state company, China Warong Asset Management, helped ICBC dispose of its bad loans. As the 2005 annual report records, just under 5% of loans are classified as non-performing, in comparison with the majority of Western banks who have lower NPL ratios U.S. commercial banks around 1%. <laughs> Currency 
Topic: Environmental Policy and Record. In 2008 ICBC was the first Chinese bank to adopt the Equator Principles, an international set of social and environmental standards for financial institutions launched in 2003. It has also adopted the Green Credit Policy launched in 2007 by the Chinese Ministry of Environmental Protection. International environmental groups have criticized ICBC for failing to adhere to its social environmental standards and of being hypocritical, because ICBC is involved in the financing of the controversial Gilgel Jibe 3 Dam in Ethiopia. Subsidiaries <inaudible> 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 Topic International Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, Asia Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, Canada Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, Macau ICBC Turkey Topic Awards Best Banking Performer, China in 2016 by Global Brands Magazine Award Global 2000 ranked number one world's largest public companies in 2016 List of awards to ICBC in 2016 Topic. See also List of asset management companies of the People's Republic of China